Is that actually plugged in, turned on? Yeah, it's on now. Right now. Mm -hmm. Three. What's today's date? Seventeen. 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 Hey, YouTubers. <laughs> Welcome back to another live gymnastics class with me, Joshua Ball, and Hannah Looms. Today's date is the 17th, 17th of April. We're going to start straight off with the Tabata warm up. So I'm going to give you guys just 20 seconds, get yourself set up. All you need to do set my phone, set your phone, your iPad, or your laptop, or even connect it to your TV. Put it up so you guys can see me and Hannah. We're going to start straight off with a workout, a four minute workout with 20 seconds work and 10 seconds rest. Then we're going to stretch. And then I'm going to show you some exercises for your backwards handspring. If you can already do a backwards handspring, you can always get your backwards handspring better. So I'll show you some exercises that you can do. I wouldn't recommend learning a backwards handspring at home. This is to help you for when you get back into your gymnastic centre. We'll start in 20 seconds. I'll just set my iPad up. Hello, Marie Claire. Marie Claire's on it. She's always doing this. She's giving me a top class gymnast. Yes, she will. So you guys get ready. We're going to start straight. As soon as I press play on this, we're going straight first for shoulder taps. Shows, shoulder taps, impressive position. <laughs> so you guys should be in this position ready, okay? And then you can follow along some of the exercises. Let's get going. I'm bringing a press in, I gotta run. Starting your top it on workout. Get, get ready. ready. Two, one. Go. Exercise. Taps. Go slower as fast as you want. But remember you've got four minutes to do. Sure. Okay, then you're going to lie onto your back. Now we're going to hold a dish for 30 seconds. So you've got your 10 seconds rest, so just relax, chill out. Exercise. And go up into a dish. So you can either go arms by your side with straight legs, a bit harder, arms up, and a bit easier is tucking your knees into like a tuck to be sit. I'm going to do legs straight, arms by my side. Too easy. Oh. Rest. Now uh, relax. Got 10 seconds. Back onto your front. This time, we're going to do plank up to front support. So three, two, Exercise. one, and then up, and then down, then up, and down. Try and keep your body nice and straight. Squeeze your bum cheeks together. And don't lift your bum up too high or too low. Down to your elbows, onto your hands. Rest. Rest. Onto our back again. Ooh, dish again. Okay, either long dish, short dish, medium dish. Exercise. I'm going to do long dish. So arms up by my ears. Feet together, you want to tense all of your muscles. Okay, just your lower back and the top of your bum should be on the floor. Oh, that's too hard. Arms up. Keep holding, don't drop, don't hold your legs. Rest. That's 10 seconds. Give yourself a stretch, a shake. Back to our front support again. All we're going to do is hold front support. Exercise. So we're holding. Keep your arms nice and straight. Feet together. If you want to do your shoulder taps, you can do your shoulder taps to make it a little bit harder. We're just going to hold. Harder than you think. Rest. Relax. Really 10 seconds rest. Woo. Back onto your back. Again, dish. Exercise. Do a tuck on this time with Hannah. Keep your legs up. You don't want your back flat on the floor. You want to be up. So you're from your shoulders. You go down to your hips. So your legs come up. If you look from the side, you'd be a V. Trying to make a V shape. And hold. Rest. Relax. Back onto the front. This time it's your choice, so pick any of the other ones that we've done. So either just front support, shoulder taps, or plank. Exercise. 
Or mix them all together. Shoulder tap. Elbows down. Look. Shoulder tap. Elbows down. Look. Shoulder tap. Down. Rest. Relax. This last one? Last one. Should be the last one. Two. One. Go. Exercise. We're going off. Ow. Hold that dish. And not right back on the floor. Make yourself into a little V shape. Imagine you're trying to eat your cereal off your stomach or your hips. You're sitting there eating your stomach. Eating your stomach. <laughs> Rest. Rest. Okay, relax, relax, relax. It's just a little warm up. Instead of the standard normal stretch, we did four minutes of core activities, core exercise. You need a strong core for gymnastics. Okay? Now, just a quick little stretch. So, Give those arms a big circle forwards. This is the most important bit. Stretch. And backwards. You guys just follow along. Gonna do a nice quick stretch. Okay, and then arms side to side. I'm not cracking today. It's all this gymnastics I'm doing. Not gonna do it. Six days a week over there. Obviously don't do it enough. Okay, and then reaching over. Either side, hand all the way over, keep it nice. You want to be stretching all your side down. Okay, I'm straddled down, so legs a bit further apart. I want you to reach towards the ground, try and keep your legs as straight as you can. You should feel it pull on all the back of your legs. Even if you can only go to here, reach down, and then walk your hands as far as you can through your legs. Okay, that arms out to the side, and we're going to swing side to side. Opposite hand to opposite foot. Try and keep your chest where it is. And then lunge to the right. Look at this one. I always do this one. Stretch that hamstring on the leg that's out. Okay, and then go to the other side. Stretch it out. You feel it in the back of your legs, stretch it all the way through. And then onto our stomach. Lying down flat on our stomach. And now I want you to lift up nice and tall, stretch your, your lower back out. Walk your hands backwards if you can. And then push your hips down into the floor so you're stretching your back even more. You should have a nice big bend in your lower back. Put your head back if you want even more of a stretch. Ooh, love it. And then lean back. Try and push your armpits into the floor. Onto your fingers, fingertips. Really push your shoulders to the floor. You'll be using your shoulders a lot, so you need them to stretch. And back forwards. Now try and get your toes to touch your head at the back. And walk your hands back if you need to. Push your hips into the floor. And then try and squeeze your head and your toes together. Really feel that stretch in your back. Keep holding. Okay, on your knees. Hands together. And then you're going to just circle your wrists. In one circle, circle the opposite way. I can hear you, it's cracking from here. So it's back down to the wrist. Some waves. Stretch your wrists out. Okay, then put your hands on the floor. Walk around with your wrists on the floor, give them a good stretch. Forwards. Backwards to the sides. And never do any gymnastics before you work. Warm up your wrists. Okay. Last one before we do a bridge. I want you to sit on your feet like I am. Okay. So imagine my feet are pointed. I think you guys should be able to see. So your feet are flat on the floor. You put your hands near your knees. And I want you to lean back up onto your toes. Yeah, that's going to get your point better. So any dancers out there, you want a better point, do this every single day. Just lift your knees up so you feel all your feet stretch. And hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. Relax, 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 relax. Right. 
the most important exercise for you, a backwards handspring, even a backwards handspring, backwards walkover is your bridge, okay? So we're gonna stretch out our bridge, and I'm gonna show you one little, little activity that you can do that is a bit of a goal for you to do your backwards, your, your back bend, okay? So we're gonna do bridge, 30 seconds. You guys get ready, Anna's gonna get ready. I'll get ready, took my top in. I took it in, but then it'll always fall out anyway. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Push up nice, tall to bridge, and hold. Rock forwards and backwards if it's nice, if it's easy for you. If it's not. Fifteen. Twelve. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And come down into a tuck shape and rock forwards and backwards. Stretch your back the other way. Okay, now I want you guys to try. If you've got a wall near you, I want you to sit next to the wall. So Hannah, you're gonna use that fence. Yeah, you don't have to be right up close against the wall. I'm gonna see you there. Got my dad's new, new garden storage thing in the way. So, you guys put yourself next to a wall when you're stretching your bridge. When we say rock forwards and backwards, the only reason that we rock forwards and backwards is so we can get our, our shoulders over our hands when we're in a bridge. Okay, if you guys have been watching all of these live gymnastics classes and you've seen me try a backwards walkover, well, the reason I can't do it is because my flexibility in my shoulders, I can't quite get them over my hands, which only comes with practice. But here's a good exercise for you to stretch out your bridge. If you sit on your bum with your feet facing forwards against the wall, so you sit down on your bum. Yes, two feet here. And then push up to a bridge from there. Try and get your hands as close as you can to the wall. And then push up to a bridge. And then your idea that you're trying to do in this one is your armpits here. You're trying to push them up against the fence. So Hannah does the push. Let's see. So she's trying to push right towards the fence. Okay, that'll get your flexibility in your shoulders to really push back. So you guys try that. And me and Hannah will keep doing it. Do it three, three or four times. Just really stretch out your shoulders. Hannah can reply to some comments, do some shout outs. Who we got? We've got Anya in East Yorkshire. And hi, Chloe. Hi, Beth. Hi, Gymnastics Flower. Go on, you're nowhere near. Your head's sticking out too far. Just because I'm nowhere near doesn't mean I shouldn't try. No, you should try. Yeah. Your turn. Better. Your turn. I hope you guys are doing this as well. You should feel it. It'll open all your chest muscles up here and make you stand taller. It's going to help back handsprings, backwards walkovers. If you do... If you're at a gymnastic centre, if you're one of the lads and you're on rings, if you're trying to dislocate, inlocate, you need those flexibility in your shoulders. Hannah can nearly touch the wall. That's why she can do a backwards walkover. Like she said, I'm miles away. But it's got better. Yeah, I'm going to do a little progression thing of when I first started doing these live videos to what my bridge is like now. Can do it again. You guys will be impressed. Maybe it's just because your hands are quite far away. Ah. My hands were right near the rolled in bit. And now it's going to come down on your head. That's better. Yeah, I know that looks all right now. I think your head was, I think you were just quite far away. Ah. Ah. Ow! Good, it's supposed to hurt, it should hurt. You have one more go, Hannah? Then we'll yeah. show them the next exercise they can do. So you guys, you can keep doing this one. Obviously after the live stream, you've now got the knowledge that I have. You can practice this at your home, you can do it in your house, you can do it anywhere, anywhere that's a flat surface, so against, against your bed before you go sleep. Try and push those armpits right up. So you see here, you're trying to get these armpits there, look, right up against the wall. It's gonna open your shoulders up, it's gonna make your back more flexible. 
Yeah? Good. Next one. So if we break down a backwards handspring and a backwards walkover, if we break it all the way down, we've just stretched out our shoulders. Okay, if we're working down our body, what's our next thing? That we're using a backwards handspring. We've just done our shoulders. Back or your core. Yes, yeah, so now we use our stomach. Okay, with your back handspring, you need those, you need that, people call it back flick. You need that flick with your legs. Okay? So just you got that first exercise. My second exercise is for you, would just be leg raises. So you'd lie on the floor, let's go ten times, arms by the side, lying flat on your back. I want you to go from here, squeeze your legs together, and you're gonna go from here all the way up. See so if you can get to a shoulder stand. Okay, just using your legs. So from here, up, shoulder stand, back down. Did ten times. Three. Four. Really feel like explode your feet up. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Ooh. Nine. Ten. Wah. Come on. Faster. 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 Not bad. Not bad. Then. Obviously, the next one after is your legs. We did. We always do legs in these workouts. Okay, just simple jumps. So ten times from here. You're gonna stand with your arms above your head. I want you to go from here. So you guys that can do a back handspring already, you know that you need to go from this position into your takeoff position, and then jump backwards. What we're gonna do ten times just to reinforce the positions is from here, bend down, jump. Two, as far as high as you can. Ten times. Go down, jump two. Stretch two. 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 Just your arms. Two. Big stretch jump, as tall as you can. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Lovely. Right. The next one. This one's a bit more advanced, okay? Involves your handstand, okay? So we're going back to the top of the body. You need to strengthen your shoulders. You jump over backwards, your hands are gonna go on the floor. Your back handspring doesn't end as soon as your hands are on the floor. Okay, let's teach you Hannah this. Hannah's does. If you've not seen it yet, go onto the YouTube channel. I've got Hannah doing a round of back handspring and a backwards tuck in what, two days? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. But what she does is she goes into a handstand after a backwards handspring. And then she thinks, oh, I'm done, I'm done. Yeah. I'm safe, and she puts her feet down. But that's your second bit, so you've got to go over, and then over, okay? So what we're gonna do is called a handstand pop, okay? You're trying to go to a handstand, and then push the floor away from you, so you're jumping on your hands, okay? I'll show you one. From here, you're reaching forwards in your handstand. As soon as you're about to go to your handstand, try and pop, okay? It looks like this. There, pop and come back down, okay? Even if you can't quite do the full handstand, go down low and just go up, try and jump, come back down, okay? But look, in my shoulders, you're trying to do this. So you're here, push, push your shoulders away, okay? You're not bending your arms, push, push. Let's see how to try. That was not very good. Okay. So you come in at like an angle and then pop. Forward step pop. Yeah, there you go. And then snap your feet together on the pop. So up, pop. Yeah, good. So you're trying to, you're thinking, that's your second bit. You've came over, your hands go on the floor, you're trying to go push and get back, get your chest back up. Pop. Nice. There, pop. Yeah? You guys can travel with it, so you don't need to do it bang on the spot. If you guys wanted to move, obviously, always do your test. If you can touch your ceiling, then don't do a handstand unless, I'll show you later, mine's perfect height, you see Okay, let's go, 10 times. So you go from here, reach forward, plop, and lock. Okay, try and hold that handstand if you can. Reach forward, plop. Good. Okay, keep going, keep trying. There, plop. Nice. Uh, 
ठीक है ठीक है If you guys wanted a little bit of a challenge, see how far you could go. See how far you can jump off your hands once you get to handstand. See how far you can pop. Pop in which direction to see how far you can go. Yeah. Push back. Don't bend your arms. Push from your shoulders. So from here, put pop. Think of that. Okay. Don't go too far. Obviously, if you. You guys know your ability better than what I do right now. So do what you can do. Okay, you don't need to go right up to the handstand. You just need to be working your shoulders. Yeah. Pop. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Again. Good. 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 Try again. And it needs loads of these to get around. Off back hands, bring back to it. So, you can put the hands up on. Not always. So, when you guys are doing it, it's this movement. Imagine you're shrugging your shoulders. So you're going up and down, up and down. Okay? Shrug. Shrug. <laughs> See? So, you're there as soon as your hands touch the ground. Shrug. Pop up. Yeah? Try and use your wrists as well. Give yourself a good pop up. Uh, keep going, Hannah. Like Few more, then the next one. <coughs> okay. so right hand up to me. That's better. Good. Right, next exercise for you guys is I just had it in my head. Good. Now for something. Good is it? Huh? Don't need it anymore. I didn't know it, I got it. Right, next exercise for you guys is from a hand. Well, you can, if you can get to a full handstand, I want you to do it from a full handstand. If you can't get quite up to a handstand, all you need to do is just get your feet off the floor and join your legs together, okay? So what I want you to try now is, essentially, when you do a round off back handspring, you're jumping up and over into a handstand, okay? Your second bit of that round off back handspring is you bouncing up and going back to your feet, okay? So you don't want to be all the way down here, okay? So we're gonna to put together the, the pop that we've just done there, we're gonna, we've worked our core muscles already, so they're all active and ready, so we're gonna put that flick in with our feet, okay? We're gonna try and push up off the floor and land into this position, okay? I'll show you one. So what I want you to try and do is go from this position, handstand, feet together, and then pop back up, okay? We'll try it 10 times. If you can't get to the handstand, all you need to do, is just jump your feet off the floor, then pop, okay? You're trying to bring your feet, feet forward, and chest up, okay? Oh, so from there, back. pop, yeah? There and pop, that's it. But then you see how Hannah was down here like this? She's got to think push, and then use all these muscles as well to lift her chest up, okay? So again? She doesn't have those muscles yet. So you're there, snap and push, and get up, yeah? And again? Yeah, there, snap and push. Okay. If if you need to bend your arms a little bit, obviously you're not going to be able to do it first time perfectly. Okay. So if you need to bend your arms a little bit, do, do that. But we're trying to emphasise getting pushing from the floor and getting our chest up tall. Okay. Yeah. Because you don't want to finish your back handsprings or even your walkovers. You don't want to finish here. Because when you're in this position, you've got nowhere to go, okay? So we're trying to go from there, handstand, and then pop, and get our feet up. Get our chest, chest up, there, feet together, pop, okay? Now, what you can also do is, if you can kick up to handstand against the wall, then you can more than kick up against the wall, and then do it from there. You want to try against the fence? No, you can. I want to try against the fence. I nearly broke it last time. <laughs> no. Go on, try again. If you've got a partner, your partner can always hold you in the handstand before you do it. So you can go up, hands there, and now you're trying to move. Look, feel this movement. So as you snap, you go up. <laughs> yeah, keep trying. That was good. That was a good one. Because I didn't do anything. 
there you go. Yeah. More from those shoulders. Obviously, no, I can't the, get the, shoulder. the more you practice it, the stronger your shoulders are going to get. Okay. My shoulders are a lot bigger than Hannah's. They've got a lot more strength in my shoulders, so I can push myself up. Okay. But the more she does that, she's going to get better and better and better. Okay. Rome wasn't built in a day, so don't expect to be able to do it straight away. For you guys that are watching that are a bit more advanced, you can make this a little bit harder. You can incorporate our handstand pop and then do the, the snap. Okay, so it looks like this. If you can go, if you can do the handstand pop, see if you can hold the handstand and then pop back. Okay, so from here, you go handstand pop, one, two, and then snap and up. Okay, so one more time, handstand pop, and then snap and up. Okay, get your chest up nice and tall. It's good conditioning for your back handsprings, for your walkovers. Just, it's hard work anyway. Get your sick back. <laughs> there you go. Yeah? Feeling it? Yeah. Again that. So, pop. Yeah? So one. Not very up. Huh? Not very up the, Not very. Uh, up here. Yeah, I'll do a couple more. I'll do a couple more. So you're trying to go handstand. Okay, first aim. Your first aim, if you can't quite get to that handstand, make that your target. But you can go straight up to that handstand. Okay? Who we got in the comments? Who needs a who's asking for me for a chat? Here we go. Chloe, who's nine from Thatcham. She's missing her usual gym club. Hey Chloe. Uh Wendy, uh, the connection is a lot better. My laptop was getting hot in the sun, so that's why it ended. And now we fixed that problem, haven't we, Hannah? Yeah. Ah, uh, Josh doesn't get stressed as much. <laughs> uh, yeah, Chloe, I've said hi to Chloe. And then who else we got? I have my back handspring. Can you do a back tuck? I can do it, but never land it. Yeah, I can do it. Hannah's going to do, I want you to do, I want you to go five of each exercise. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So you guys as well on the other end of the on the, on the other end of this laptop, five of each exercises, okay? Um, and Abby Cupcake, I'll do a back tuck for you. Where are you doing it on that? Ready, Abby? Boom. Oh. Let's do it. My crowd goes wild. <laughs> so first exercise, what was it, Hannah? Show the pop. First exercise was oh, the, bridge the bridge against the wall. Okay, so you guys, if you go through five times of each exercise, the first one was your bridge against the wall, and you're trying to push your shoulders right up against the fence, just like Hannah. How's Facebook looking? Bring you guys over. Well, I get your shoulders against the fence. It's good. So get your shoulder flexibility, get your everything. Second exercise was the handstand pops. Yeah. Go, five handstand pops. Okay, reaching forward, you pop. Yeah, that was good one. Try and go further and further each time. There, pop. Yeah. You almost want to do your pop when you come in at an angle. Yeah, that's up. Shoot your hands forward, use your shoulders. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, it's a good one. You've got loads of that. So if Hannah's learnt it, oh. in, how long have we been going? If Hannah's learnt it within 29 minutes, hopefully some of you guys have as well. So you're going there. This is just to strengthen your shoulders up. Okay? Yeah. Another good one for that, if you can't quite do it, is using the wall. Okay, you, you should be able to see me against this. Okay, so if you can't quite do it, a good exercise, which is in my video to get your five tips to get your handstands better, is using a wall like this and just working your shoulders when you're in that handstand. So go up to a handstand against the wall, and then from here, just go down, truck, down, truck. Okay, it'll teach you to push away from the floor. So if you're doing a handstand like this, no good. Push. He does okay. again for Facebook. Huh? He does again for Facebook. Who did I see? No, I twisted it after. Yeah. So you got your handstand pop. If you can't quite do your handstand pop, use a wall. So from there, 
Pop up, and then relax, pop, relax, pop. Okay? Third exercise was your snap down from handstand. Okay? Hannah will show us that one. Hannah's my student and the coach. Hannah's the student. <laughs> there you go. Up to a handstand. Go on, try again. You got it? Bad try. Doesn't matter if you go wrong. You've got to keep practicing. Keep trying. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It. Try and make it. Uh, uh, think flick. Flick. That's it. Get that chest really down. Yeah. Get your chest up then. It'll come. You've just got to keep practicing. It. Again, really to, to develop that little exercise. Okay, and to, to almost trick yourself into get, getting into the right position is doing a stretch jump after it. Okay? So you, you want to be bouncing off of it. Okay, if you've got an air track like me, do it on the air track. Okay? From here, think handstand, do that pop, stretch jump. Okay? Because if your chest is all the way down here, and you try a stretch jump, I'd like to see you do a stretch jump with your chest here. Yeah? Give me another go, hello. That was a tuck jump. Tuck jump. <laughs> the arms up though. You want a picture, if you guys could do it, imagine you put glue on your arms and your ears, okay? And see if you can do it all the time with your arms sticking to your ears. There and snap and up. <laughs> See, so she didn't quite push up her shoulders. We're there. Go. Snap. Chip. Stretch jump. Yeah, get your chest up. Okay? So if you feel like yours look good, but you're not getting it, then get somebody to film it because I thought mine were all right <laughs> until I saw it on the video. So yeah, yeah, get somebody to film it so you can watch yourself doing it. Yeah. And parents, if you're looking at your child and they're struggling to do it, you're more than welcome to take a video, send it over to me. I'll give you a whole paragraph on how to get it better. Okay? So if you if you want to send in footage for me to help you do gymnastics, send it across. I'll give you some pointers and tips. Is it one of the exercises All together. All together. Go on. Not bad, not bad. So then, your last exercise, so we've gone through. First one, Hannah. Bridge and push. Bridge and against push in. Against the wall, get your chest to the wall. Against the wall, you don't have to do it against the wall. You can do it just, just standing. Next one. We did handstand Hand pop. pops, okay? So trying to use your shoulders, okay? You're trying to pop up off your hands, okay? If you can't do that one, again, I showed you, you can use a wall to do it and just shrug your shoulders away, okay? Train their muscles that are in your shoulders, okay? You, you need to understand how to use your muscles. I mean, that's what I don't understand yet. They're, all these muscles in here, yeah, you've used your shoulder muscles, which are your big ones here. Okay. Do this? But have you ever used the little muscles that are inside that make you move that you've never moved before? And if I you get me. Yeah. Yeah. Third exercise was the, 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 I'm going to call it the flick. Yeah. Where you're going handstand and you're trying to flick, get your chest up. I'll show you one more of those. We're not jumping that's probably yourself. one of the most important ones is going handstand, go on there, snap and up. Okay. And then your fourth one, join them all together. So handstand, pop, try and flick. That's your end goal. If you can't do that, make that your end goal this week, okay? Pick yourself a challenge. Be, say to yourself, I want to be able to do this skill, okay? Even if it's basic, you can make some of the basic skills look incredible, okay? If you're good at them, yeah? So all together, handstand, pop, pop, and then you snap. And, yes? And there you go, okay? Yeah. Now, finishing off. We're going to stretch out our splits and, of course, as we've done lots of activities with our backwards, well, they're exercises to backwards handsprings, okay? I don't want to be teaching you guys a backwards handspring over the internet because I can't spot you. You guys might land on your head. These are just exercise. These are things to build up. So when we're finished with all this lockdown and quarantine thing, if you guys are practicing and practicing and practicing, just those four exercises. You should have the strength. Yeah. There's, there's loads of more exercises. But I just thought of these four exercises. To start with. Yeah. I did plan it, but I never have a little piece of paper, so I can't always get lost. <laughs> okay. Splits. Let's go. You guys get onto your spots. Stretch out our splits to finish off. And then after this live stream, you guys can go back to doing your handstands, your everything that we've covered in this class. Okay? Or you can click on the probably should be at the bottom of this one on your right. 
There's probably another video, another live stream from me and Hannah. You can do a whole other session, okay? So no one can say that they're bored because I've provided you with quality <laughs> gymnastics content. Okay, so stretch your back leg. Also, guys, if you have enjoyed this live class, you see that little thumb icon? There's a nice big thumbs up. If you guys could whack a nice big click onto that thumbs up, it really helps me and Hannah out. Gets our YouTube channel going, doesn't it? Yes. And then if you've got any friends, family, please share my YouTube channel, my Facebook around to them. Okay, lunge forwards, so your back leg straight. Share it around to them. Tell them what you think of me. Hopefully it's nice things. <laughs> right, and then slide to splits as far as you can and hold. Give me a thumbs up for my splits. Oh! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and swap. Stretch that front leg, all that back leg. Ooh, I'm really like tight today. Tell me about it. That's <laughs> in me for months. I lunge forward, so your back leg straight, so you lift it off the floor. Yeah. yeah. No, but is that where you're? Yeah, all yeah, down the back of the hamstring. Well, yeah. Okay, and then slide as far as you can to splits. Once it, no, once we did that, Remember when you're doing your splits, try and keep your hips facing forwards. This is my bad leg. I'm not very good at this leg. Now get your back knee on the floor. Don't let your back knee twist. So you want one knee down to the floor, one knee up. Usually easier with one hand either side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Box split. Both legs out to the side. Going as far down as you can. Not good. These are the hardest splits. These take the most practice. But just to put it into perspective for you guys. Yeah, my box splits aren't super low, and you don't look at them and think, wow. But I'd say eight months ago, I probably couldn't get further than this. Okay? But I thought um, I'd get my box splits better, and now I can fly all the way to my hands on the floor. I can get my elbows on the floor now. And just hold. Okay? Swimming through is probably the best for kind of splits. I cannot swim through. I know that helps stretch, though. Can you yeah. swim through? No, actually, <laughs> my swim through goes sideways, mine goes like that. <laughs> We're swimming through backwards, do we feel that helps? And then try to stay as low to the floor as you can. Backwards probably helps, if you're with. So a lot of the guys that are watching this, you guys are probably a lot more flexible yeah, than me. And yeah. But try and just mix the foot. Yeah, swim through forwards and backwards, and then it's stretch. One more bridge. One more walk over from you. Ah, oh, I was hoping you didn't say that. Managed to push his leg over the other day <laughs> on about the fourth attempt. So you guys, if you're sat following along, you stretch out your bridge. I'm going to try a back and walk over. And then that is the 17th of April's live gymnastics class. Yes. Yes. Got it right. When's today going to be the day? I don't know. Do it. Just do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm on top top, I can do it today. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you can. <sighs> Nearly. No. Oh, you know you're in Krishangi again. <laughs> you just came at the right time. <laughs> to watch Josh fall in. Perfect. So, thank you guys very much. All you guys that have followed along and all you guys that follow along after this video, a massive thank you. Um, please, if you've not yet, hit that subscribe button below. Give this video a thumbs up. We've got three so far and there's 14 of you watching right now. So click that thumbs up button for me and we will see you. Um...
What Monday. day even is it? Yeah, Monday. It's Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> Might see Monday, depending on how many round off back handsprings and back to its handed us now. I'll have a video for you next tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah? You need to do it. You're yeah. going to give these people something to watch while they're sat at home. Yeah, where they can watch the first attempt. Yeah, that's what we got in there. Cool. Right, guys, thank you very much. And we will see you on Monday. Bye.